Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how do you load alternate records into SQL Server table using SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Raju and he asked how to load alternate rows into the destination table using SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a file sellers.csv and if I open this particular file in a textpad editor, so you can see that this file contains person's first name, last name, email, gender and the country column and we don't have any ID column in this particular CSV file. So this particular file contains 1000 records. You can see there are 1001 line and the first line is the header information. So that's why this file contains total 1000 records. So when we will import alternate records then only 500 records should be loaded into the SQL Server table. So maybe we can start with loading the first record and then we can ignore the second record then we can load the third record and we can ignore the fourth record and so on so let's see how we can do this using SSIS so let me close this particular file and let me open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and let me open the SSMS so this is my SQL Server 2019 instance and I will be loading the data into the sellers table so I already created a table here and the table is empty as of now I have created an ID column here of integer type but the value to this ID column it will be generated on the fly okay so let me open the SSIS package because we are going to load the data from a CSV file so the easiest way is to use the data flow task and we can use some transformation as well in the data flow task so let me configure the data flow task because we want to read the data from a CSV file so we can use a flat file source here so I can just configure the flat file source click new to create a new flat file connection manager and I can browse the file so my file is situated inside D files location I can change the file type to CSV and I can select the CSV file from here under text qualifier I can put a double quote and if you click on preview so you can see that the data seems good so I can click on ok and I can click on ok again now I can use an OLEDB destination here and uh, I can connect the flat file source with the OLEDB destination and I can make a connection to the work database click OK from data access mode I will select the table or view fast load and I can select the sellers table from here ok and if you click on the mapping then all the columns have been mapped but we don't have an ID column here ok so we need to generate the ID column of kind of identity column on the fly so that we can map the ID column as well ok so I can click on OK here and let me drag and drop an script component here and using the script component we can generate an identity column here ok so I can just drag and drop the script component into the data flow task and it will be used as a transformation so I can click on ok now I can connect the flat file source with the script component and I can right click and configure the script component I need to click on inputs and outputs and I can expand the output 0 and I can click on output columns I need to click on add column here and I can call this column as ID the data type of the ID column will be 4 byte sign integer so this is good now I can click on script and I need to click on the edit script so that the script editor can be opened for me so the script editor has been opened up and I can scroll down and we need to write our code here in the input 0 process input row ok so I can just press the enter 2 times and I can declare a variable here int i equal to 0 semicolon and then what I need to do I need to assign the value of id row dot id equal to i plus 1 ok and then I need to increase the value of i with plus 1 i plus 1 semicolon so this is just a couple of line of code that will work so it will increase the value of id by 1 for each and every row ok so that's what we are doing here I can click on file exit and I can click on ok now if you connect the script component with the OLEDB destination and if you go back to the OLEDB destination and go to the mappings then you can see a ID column here so you can map the ID column the source column with the destination and you can click on OK now if you will execute the SSIS package then it will import all 1000 records into the destination table and you can see the value of the ID as well it's kind of identity 1 2 3 4 and it should go up to 1000 yeah so this is working fine now what we need to do we need to import the alternate records into the destination table so for that what we can do we can use a conditional split transformation so I can just drag and drop the conditional split transformation into the data flow task and then I can connect the script component with the conditional split transformation 
and I can configure the conditional split transformation. I can expand the columns and I can just drag and drop the ID column into the condition and I can put a modular here to double equal to zero. Okay. So we have used the modulus function here ID modulus two and double equal to zero. So it will return all the even numbers. Okay. And in the default output, it will come all the odd numbers. Okay. So I can click on OK. And now if you will connect the conditional split output with the already destination, then there will be two output. Do you want to insert the even numbers or odd numbers? So maybe I can click the even number here and I can click on OK. So first I can truncate the SQL Server table, truncate table sellers, and then I can execute the SSIS package. So it should insert all the even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on into the SQL Server table. So if I execute this particular query, then you can see all the even records 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are got inserted. So the first record got skipped, second record got inserted, then third record got skipped and the fourth record got inserted and so on. And suppose if you want to insert all the odd numbers like you want to insert the first number then want to ignore the second then want to insert the third one then you can map the odd number output from the conditional split transformation so i can just truncate this particular table and i can go back to the ssis package let me stop the execution of the package and let me delete this particular output and i can just select the odd numbers from here and i can click on ok and if i re-execute the ssis package then it should insert all the odd numbers. So I can check the data again. So now you can see that it inserted first record, then it skipped second record, then inserted third record, then it skipped fourth record, inserted fifth record, and so on. So this has inserted 500 records into the SQL Server table from the CSV file. So we are just inserting alternate records into the SQL Server table. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.